Uh, extreme cold could create some problems with the evening commute tomorrow. The tea, however, says it's ready for anything. WBC's Brandon Truitt shows us how the teas plan to ride out the weather. Bitterly cold temperatures expected to roll into town faster than the tea itself. And with an old system like ours, challenges come with it. We prepare for that months in advance of this. Jeff Gonneville is on his second spin as the interim general manager for the MBTA, telling reporters Thursday crews are in place to troubleshoot over the weekend. We have crews, our maintenance teams, that are actually working on all of our vehicles to ensure that their air systems, which control our doors, control the brakes in the system, are all going to be prepared and ready for this. With sub-zero wind chills expected, the tracks become a top priority. The T says trains will be tucked away into tunnels overnight. And for those taking a bus, instead of waiting at the stop, the MBTA is encouraging folks to utilize their online winter guide. You can access wait times here too. The MBTA is warning of possible delays. Orange Line work has been canceled for Saturday. And so is work in the Sumner Tunnel. The state saying temperatures will be too low for crews to work. Massport is urging those flying out of Logan to check for delays. Planes have limitations too. Steps have been taken and I feel confident about uh, the, the system's capacity to, to handle what comes our way. Governor Mara Healy says her administration is working to utilize MBTA facilities, opening South Station for those without a place to go, at least for Friday and Saturday night. And I would encourage the public to look after your neighbors, check on those who are, who are vulnerable, uh, particularly our seniors, but uh, anyone you know um, who may be vulnerable in this time, and I'm confident we can get through it as a commonwealth. And the governor says despite South Station being open, she's hoping people utilize other resources like the shelters. She says the state is reaching out to people, particularly those that are unhoused, to inform them of their options heading into the weekend. In Boston, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.